Okay, here's a question I've got a lot over the last few weeks for some reason, and it's uh, what does ES stand for? ES is extreme spread. So extreme spread is how we uh, how we rate basically our muzzle velocity on our hand loads. So what we're after. Okay, let's back up a little bit. When we figure our extreme spread, we're using a chronograph and we're shooting a string of shots over it. And after you get done shooting that sh string of shots, it will tell you what your average velocity was, what your high velocity was, what your low velocity was, and then what your extreme spread. The extreme spread is the difference between your highest velocity and your lowest velocity. Now, from for long-range shooters, what we want is for that extreme spread to be as small as possible because, you know, if you're shooting a thousand yards and and your extreme spread is say 50 feet per second, just punch your ballistic calculator, punch in there, two different velocities, 50 feet a second apart from each other, and see what your correction difference is going to be. It's pretty big at distance, so. As long-range shooters, we want our extreme spread to be as small as possible. Uh, I, I strive for under 20 feet per second on a long string of shots, say 10 shots, or two five-shot strings, or three three-shot strings. I want that to be under 20 feet per second all the time, every time I go out and check it. Uh, if you can get it down to single digits, awesome. But if you look at your ballistic calculator and punch in 20 to 30 feet per second, at say a thousand yards you'll find that you probably can't hold steady enough at that distance in the field and field positions to realize the difference so there are still two dynamics you're working with you're working with precision and accuracy and then you're working with the the raw potential of the load which is you know the muzzle velocity so if the ES stays down low and you still have really good groups really tight groups at distance you're golden if you have really tight groups at short range, say out to intermediate range, and then you start to get vertical dispersion at distance, you might want to look at your velocities. But uh, anyway, that's what ES is, extreme spread.